Thank you, Governor. Um, I was very happy to hear you say you want to stop spending and say no to special interests. There are several bills that now seem to be fast-tracking through the legislature that are very concerning to me. Um, one being a bill that passed the state or the Assembly Health Committee on Monday, and it's scheduled for a vote in the Senate Health Committee tomorrow. And that is a bill that would add fluoride to all New Jersey's public water supply. And I know that this legislation would cost New Jersey to start over five billion dollars. Also, this is an industrial waste byproduct that is toxic. Um, fluoride, if it does have benefits, is topical, not being ingested. And if we put it in our water, we're all going to be dosing with medication that we're not monitoring the levels of it. And an analogy I really like is that ingesting fluoride is similar to drinking sunscreen to protect your skin. And so my question to you is, if this bill does make it to your desk, will you veto it? Um. I'm very skeptical about the bill. Uh, I don't have all the information I need yet to give you a firm commitment on what my position is going to be, but I will tell you I go into it very skeptical uh, for the reasons that you just stated and others. Um, and what I've found over the last couple of years is that um, sometimes what happens um, in Trenton is that we are um, attempting to justify our existence, and so we become a whole bunch of solutions in search of a problem. And, you know, I think this might be one of them, um, where we're a solution in search of a problem. So I've said to my staff already, I'm very skeptical about this. Um, I want all the information. I'm going to bring experts in to talk to them about it. Um, but, you know, there was another bill that I think is akin to that that I didn't sign at the end of the session, which was mandating flu vaccines across the state. We, we mandate more vaccines in New Jersey than any state in America. And on a lot of them, we should mandate them because they've been able to wipe out significant and debilitating and deadly diseases. But I think we also have to start being a little bit smart about two issues. One, that government shouldn't be mandating all of these things regarding public health. And, 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 and secondly, that there are issues of individual rights at, at play here. Um, I mean, to talk to you about the autism community, I have met with dozens of parents of autistic children who are absolutely convinced that their children's autism was caused by vaccines. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not, and the science is, is on both sides of it. But what I've thought about in relation to it is as a parent, I have four children, 18, almost 16, 11 and 8. And if I became convinced that one of my children was harmed by vaccines, and then they told me that I was bringing my new baby to the doctor and I had to get all these vaccines, as a parent, how would I feel about that? Whether I was right or wrong, I would have a real conflict, I would suspect. And so I think as we look to putting more mandates on top of things regarding public health, we should also understand that there's an individual rights issue here of parents making decisions for what's in their children's best health interests that we have to also respect. And so that's the way I'm going to be looking at any new vaccine legislation or at this fluoride legislation, which I have some real concerns about. So um, thanks for bringing it up. It's an important issue.